Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll guide you through how to set up NPV Tunnel or NapsterNet vVPN using SSL TLS settings to secure your internet connection. We'll go step by step, taking things slowly so you can follow along easily. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more VPN tutorials. Step 1. First, we need to create an SSL server. Open any browser and type UDP Custom into the search bar, then press Enter. You'll see different search results. Find and click on the official UDP Custom website to go to its homepage. Step 2. Once you're on the UDP Custom homepage, look at the top right corner of the screen. There's a menu icon. Tap on it to reveal the available menus. From the list, select SSH Servers. Then from the submenu, tap on SSH Stunnel Server to start creating the server. Step 3. Now you'll see a form where you need to enter your username and password. After filling those in, complete the reCAPTCHA by checking the box. Once you've done that, click on the Create Server button. In just a few moments, your server will be ready. Make sure to copy the server details, as we'll need them later. Step 4. Next, go back to your home screen and open the Play Store. In the search bar, type NPV Tunnel VPN and press Search. From the search results, tap on the NPV Tunnel VPN app and click the Download button to install it. This may take a minute or two, so give it some time to complete. Step 5. Once the download and installation are done, open the app. You'll be taken to the home screen of the NPV Tunnel VPN app. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see a globe icon. Tap on that to enter the server configuration section. Step 6. In the top right corner of the app, there's a plus plus icon. Tap on that to manually add a configuration. You'll now see a list of options. From this list, tap on Add Config Manually. Step 7. On the next screen, you'll need to select the protocol. Tap on SSH Config because we'll be setting up SSH SSL settings. Let's start configuring each part of the SSH SSL settings one by one. Step 8. In the protocol section, there are various options, but for this setup, we're only focusing on SSL slash TLS settings. Select SSL slash TLS. You'll now need to enter the server details you copied earlier. This includes the IP address, username, and password. Step 9. You'll also see a field for SNI, server name indication. If you have a valid SNI, go ahead and enter it here. This step is optional, but it adds extra security. Additionally, if you want even more security, you can add a proxy to your SSH server. Step 10. Next, you'll want to give your configuration a name. In the Remarks section, type a name that will help you remember the purpose of this config, like SSL Secure Browsing. Once all the details are filled in, tap on the Save button to save your configuration. Step 11. Now, head back to the app's home screen. To use the configuration you just created, Tap on the Config option and select the one you've just set up. Step 12. Once the configuration is selected, go back to the home screen of the app again. At the bottom, you'll find the Connect button. Tap on it to start your VPN connection using the SSL slash TLS settings. Step 13. You're now connected. Your browsing is secure, thanks to the NPV Tunnel VPN with SSL slash TLS settings. That's how easy it is to configure a secure VPN connection. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, and share it with others who might find it useful. Thanks for watching, and stay safe online.